Okay. It's hot. It's gotta be 90. And I just had to sprint from one side to the other to stay away from that toe barge, whatever. It is 2 o'clock on Sunday the 10th of October. And I'm feeling it. But let me show you what I do to try and keep cool. Okay, number one. You do the hat dip. And you gather up your hat because you don't want the, the brim to get real wet because then it gets deformed. And let's see. Okay. Hold on to the string so that you can flip it out of your way. Just a little dipping. Okay. And you want to try and keep a little water in there because that feels good. All right. So then you flip it. And then if you're lucky, a little goes down between your shoulder blades. There it is, that's nice. And the other thing you do is get your gloves. You get them wet. You put them in the water for a little while. Think about life. Think, why am I doing this when it's 90 degrees out? That feels good. A lot of, a lot of little arteries right there towards the skin, right at your wrists. So, when you do that, then you got wet hands this. Oh, feels good. And you hope a little goes down your shirt. Good. Okay, so you squeeze. Do another one more dip. Now, something people don't think about probably. Put them in your armpits. Oh, it's good. It's good. Get a little wetness there. A little wetness there. That's, that's another area where there's some fairly superficial arteries. Big ones. Then you go back to paddling. And you decide, okay, I'm going to do that again in about two miles. And that's what you do. That's what I do. I don't know if it works, but I'm still paddling, so haven't had a heat, heat stroke yet. I don't plan on it. You also drink lots of water.